Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. This is my living room right now. That's why we're gonna be tackling today's video, which is like a living room makeover or decorate with me and the entryway. So all the big pieces are in um, because when we had our family helping us, anything that was heavy, I wanted to get into the space, but this is how we're living right now. And so I really wanna get it together. I don't think it's gonna take long. The thing that's gonna take the longest is hanging the TV because Chase has to hang it through the stone. Um, I will say he took measurements from the outlet um, before the stone went up so he knew where the studs were gonna be, but it's still not gonna be easy. Um, the other thing that scares me is decorating sh the shelves. You guys know me, I'm not like a shelves girl. Um, so I'm, I wanna make sure they look good, but they're not busy. So I'm excited to get all that done. We have the rug. You guys know our sectional and all that. We'll be able to decorate. I got two new chairs we need to bring in. And then um, I needed to go do the entryway and then I'll probably do the front door and that little area as well. Hey, what's your secret? You got the kind of that leaves when speechless. It could be model multitasking genius. Yeah, you got it all. Hey, what's your story? It can't cast mom in 40 under 40. It's soccer practice in your high heel glory. Yeah, you do it all. Hey, but the cup won't you listen? Up. I'm a woman, stronger than what you would believe. Way more than what's plain to see. You either got it or you don't. I'm a woman. As you can see here, furniture is everywhere. So we're gonna start moving it to like the edges so we can lay down the rug, get it exactly where we want it because it's gonna determine where all the furniture goes and then we'll start putting everything back together. But if you're new here, I would love for you to click that subscribe button. I have tons of makeover videos coming your way. I'm filming every room that I'm working on. So if you like content like that, definitely make sure you're subscribed. If you wanna see the process of building a custom house and everything we went through, the good, the bad, and the ugly, I have videos all on it for the past eight months. So definitely check that out as well. So I have been looking for chairs almost the entire eight months of building this house because I knew once we had our sectional in here, I'd want two chairs to like anchor it down. I knew I wanted them to swivel. I knew all the things I wanted, but I couldn't find them until I checked out the Home Depot and I found them online and I was so excited. And I swear it is full of like hidden treasures and gems online. And when my parents were helping me move in, they saw the chairs for the first time and they went crazy for them and she was shocked when I said the Home Depot, but she said she just found chairs for her house um, on the website as well. So definitely be looking and I love the chairs in her house. I didn't even realize that's where they had come from. I also wanted to mention that the desk Chase had in the last house, we ordered me one. So we have matching desk here in the new house, but it was such amazing quality and we loved it so much. We knew we wanted two of them. You can definitely trust the Home Depot with all your home decor, decorating, interior design needs, and you will not be disappointed. I also wanted to let you know that the Home Depot is having a super savings event going on from June 8th through June 21st for up to 70% off select furniture, kitchenware, and home decor. I will say originally it was supposed to be 40 and I got an email that they're raising it to 70% off. So I'm definitely gonna have that link down below in my description box. I'm gonna link these chairs as well, just in case you're interested in them. But like I said, I have multiple pieces, like furniture pieces from the Home Depot, and I'm always blown away by the quality and just how high end they are. I absolutely love those chairs. They're exactly what I've been looking for. Um, so if you're looking for a piece and haven't found it, check out the Home Depot because who would have thought that they had furniture there? We always think it's for like our husbands and guys in our life, but they actually have amazing <laughs> furniture and home decor. Um, so definitely check out their website. I'm in love with these. Like they're exactly what I needed because I didn't need something huge because I didn't want to come into the walkway. And I also really wanted chairs that 
that um, would spin a little bit. So if you want to spin it and like watch TV or if you want to turn it and have a conversation or maybe someone's over in the kitchen, you can definitely do that. Plus it gives me change like in here I can like angle them towards each other. I don't know. I am so happy with these. I love that it came with the pillow. Super, super impressed, great quality. Definitely check them out. So now that we're hitting summertime, it's so nice to just freshen up a few pieces in your home. I promise you it's gonna make your home feel new again. It's gonna make you fall in love all over. Or if you have a new home like mine, maybe you're just trying to get it furnished. Now that they're having their super savings event up to 70% off, you heard me right, 70% off. This is definitely the time to check it out. So that link will be down below in my description box. And thanks again to Home Depot for sponsoring today's video. I'm not gonna lie, I need to take off all these covers on these cushions and wash it. So I'll probably do that later once I'm done completely decorating and I have more time. But I always like to put these underneath the cushions, otherwise um, the sofa cushions slide really bad where you sit. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. These seat cushions tend to slip or slide a lot when you're on them. And I had a sofa like that in college and I just learned if you would put down like shelf liner that you would put down in your kitchen, you know how it's that like rubber silicone filling that will keep them from sliding. So they might slide a little bit, but not anywhere like they typically do. I feel like this is like a game changer. So if you have cushions like that and it's constantly driving you crazy, just cut big sections of it and put it underneath each cushion. And I promise you it will keep them in there a lot tighter. Watched the clock ticking off the wall. So when this sectional was being moved, I actually wasn't there. I was at the new house because we had so many workers still working on it and I had to be there and then Chase and our parents were at our old house and they found those and got creative and was like wrapping things in them and doing things to get moved. But it was amazing that when they all got moved in, I still had the same amount. They had them in there for me so I could put them back on my sectional, but they got super creative. So just remember that if you're moving and have those underneath your sectional cushions. Over here in boxes, I kind of have decor that I have left over that I know I'm gonna be needing to decorate with. Um, I also washed all these blankets from the move and I need to put them like into one of the cabinets over there. Um, I'm gonna work on my coffee table first because that's always the hardest thing for me and then we'll go from there. Is that weird, the way I have that? I wanna put greenery in it and just see if it works. Um, I'm just not good with coffee tables. Like I love decorating, but when it comes to centerpieces like coffee tables or dining tables, I just really struggle. So maybe if I add some like green stems to that, it'll look better. I'm gonna be myself or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. Anytime I'm working with like stems or greenery, I try really hard not to cut it. That way, if I ever want to reuse it in another vase, um, I can adjust it as needed. So it's always super bendy. It typically just has a wire in it. So like fold it, curl it up, wind it up however you need to, but try not to cut it. It also makes it easier when you're dealing with it. And then later, say I put it in a taller vase, all I have to do is like flatten it out and then I can adjust it to that vase and I'm not constantly having to buy like new um, greenery. I think I like that. What do you guys think? I like that it ties in the black, the white oak, the concrete and greenery. 
If it's weird, let me know, <laughs> I like it. Um, Chase is gonna have to take the TV at some point, but I'm not gonna have him do it now. But the thing I've been wanting to get done um, is to decorate these shelves. Like, it's the part that stresses me out with this house. I never really have shelves, um, so I never have to decorate that much. Can you hear a tiger running around me? <laughs> you wanna go outside? <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start on these shelves and hopefully we can make them look beautiful. I'm gonna be myself, I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself, I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. Car. So you think you were right? As I'm working on these shelves, I'm trying to make sure everything's balanced, but I was also trying not to be too symmetrical because I tend to go that way. Like if I put a face on one side, I want to put it on the other. So I was still doing that, but I was trying to make them off center. So if I put a picture frame right there on the bottom shelf and I was trying to put that same picture frame on the right side but on the top shelf if that makes sense. So I was trying to give it a little bit of interest which is out of my comfort zone because I like symmetry but I feel like it turned out really well. You know I have had this vision in my head for so long, so it's just so cool to see this living room come together. And honestly, the biggest things were like the shelf decor and those chairs. Those are the things that I've been searching for and hunting for and trying to find the right pieces and just wanting to bring it all together. And I'm not lying when I say I absolutely love those chairs. Every time I walk past them, I tell Chase every single time, like I am in love with those chairs. I rarely even sit on my sectional now. I just always sit on those chairs. Um, so just a reminder, if you have been looking for something, I know we have all of our go-to places and we don't think of the Home Depot, but definitely check them out. I cannot tell you how happy <laughs> this makes me. Like I've been so worried about these shelves. I knew we needed them because we couldn't just do plain walls. Um, but I didn't know if I was gonna be able to decorate them and if it would be too busy. Plus, I think this will be really fun with holiday decor. I can like switch it out. It kind of gives me something to rearrange since I can't really like rearrange our living room or anything. So I think I'm gonna actually enjoy it, but you guys will have to let me know what you guys think.
Okay, I still need to work on my entryway, but it's starting to get dark out here and I want to hang the wreath and put out our mat and like sweep, but I'm gonna have Chase hang the wreath. <laughs> so it'll be nice and centered because I would just stick it on there and he takes the time to measure. Yep. So Savvy picked this out a while ago. Um, she loves purple. So I thought it would be so pretty against the house. So I wanna get that hung for her. And then I just picked up that mat. But once he gets that hung, I'll sweep all this off, put the rug out, and then we're gonna be working on our entryway next. It took me three hooks to get it right. Um, it's really hard hanging a heavy or a large wreath on a glass door. So I tried all the sticky ones that I could find and that didn't work. I finally got a suction cup, but it's like heavy duty and like locks in. Since that, I haven't had any issues. Um, so if you have a glass door, definitely go with like a suction cup option versus like anything that's sticky. As you can see, our flower beds are not done yet. We're still waiting on like gutters to get finished before we worry about the flower beds. And even at that, I'm just not 110% what I wanna do yet. So I'm trying not to rush too much, but I know it needs it to like ground the house and just add a little bit. Um, so it'll be really cool when that goes in. But right now we're just gonna add a colorful wreath and I actually need to even add an American flag to the house. And I think that'll help a lot too. I figured this mirror would be a little hard to hang because it's so heavy, but it started out so well. Normally the hard part's like finding a stud and figuring out how to get it centered, um, but that wasn't the hard part. The hard part was um, the hooks on it were angled weird, so we had a really hard time getting it to hook on both screws. You're gonna see take one, take two, and we even made it to a take three. So sometimes in real life, it doesn't happen the first time. I wanted to show you all three takes so you can see, like it doesn't always go as planned the first time. And I even had my family be so careful with this table that I painted black. I had them wrap it, they got it here, it looked beautiful, and we scratched it trying to hang it. You can see here I got smart and added a towel. I wish I would have done that at first. So. I'm sure in a home projects video one day you're gonna see me stay on the top of that and do another layer of paint. And here is the final take three. I guess you can say a third time is a charm. If I'm being honest with you, this move was so much harder on me than any other move. Like typically I can move and it's, you know, it's a lot of work, but I'm okay. But this one has just flat taken me out. I know I'm having to film it all too. So I think that's part of it, um, but it's exhausting. So you're gonna notice in a lot of these videos, I look tired and it's cause I'm filming multiple videos a day. So you're gonna see the same outfit over and over. But I really just wanted this content for you guys. I know you enjoy it, but if I look tired or anything like that, you're probably gonna see that look a lot. Cause like I said, I was just filming one video after the next. <laughs> Wanna get to your clothes, gotta get it right now. I wanna push all the limits with you right now. So watch your feelings, the city screaming when I'm coming home tonight. We're living quick in the world, gotta get it right now. Here is the final look. You'll have to let me know what you think about the second vase. I kinda like the concrete being there. Or is it better just like 
without it. I can't decide. <laughs> and then one day when I have more free time, I'm going to have to repaint the top of this. We did so well wrapping it and getting it moved here without scratching it. And then um, when that mirror, we kept setting it down, we scratched it. That's why I eventually added a towel, but it's fine. At least it's just the top. So I can sand that down and um, paint it one day. But what do you guys think? I love it. Um, yeah, I got that Tamir as a birthday gift. I think it was a birthday gift last year. And I was so excited because we bought it for this house and my vision came true. Um, but now let me start outside and we'll walk through and look at everything we did today. Okay, let's start right here because we got to work on our porch right here with the mat and the wreath. And then you come in and you see this beautiful entryway table and mirror. And then you walk into the living room. I just love it, guys. We did really well today. It was a lot of work, but I'm so glad it's done. Um, these chairs are amazing. Like, they're exactly what I wanted. I wanted them to have a curve since this is like a walkway right here. I wanted them to feel like organic. I don't know. They were just the perfect chair, and I know you don't think of Home Depot when it comes to furniture shopping or home decor shopping, but definitely check them out because they are amazing. So thanks again to the Home Depot for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna have their link down below in my description box. I'm also gonna link these chairs just in case you're interested in them as well, but they have amazing home decor too. Even if you're not needing furniture, all you have to do is shop homedepot.com.